Is this a place for a B to be? Written and illustrated by third grade students of River Bend Elementary in Washita Parish. In the summer of 2009, there was a honeybee named Betsy. Betsy B was a beautiful tiny yellow bee with stripes as black as night. She was a very happy and friendly bee and she loved the color red. She wore a red hat everywhere she went. Betsy B lived in a small hole in a big oak tree. Since it was summer in Honeyville, the limbs of the oak tree were covered with bright green leaves. Green grass and colorful flowers grew underneath the big tree. Betsy loved her home in the sturdy oak tree, and she thought it was the greatest home in the world. One day, when Betsy B. was out searching for pollen, she heard a loud noise coming from Honeyville. She quickly flew home to see what had caused the noise. To her dismay, the beautiful oak tree she had lived in was gone. Someone had cut her tree down, and all that was left was a stump and some sawdust. She was very sad to lose her comfortable home. Now she would have to search for a new place to live. First she found an empty cola can that someone had thrown on the ground. This may be a place for a bee to be. She crawled into the can, but just as she got settled, the can began to roll. This was no place for a bee to be. Next, she found a dry leaf on the ground. This may be a place for a bee to be. She crawled under the leaf, but suddenly a strong wind blew the leaf away. This was no place for a bee to be. Then she found a piece of paper someone had thrown on the ground. This may be a place for a bee to be. She crawled under the paper just in time to avoid a sudden summer rain shower. Unfortunately, the paper soaked up the rain, making it soggy and wet. This is no place for a bee to be. After searching all day for a home, Betsy became very hungry. She flew to a nearby morning glory flower so she could feast on the flower's pollen. She ate so much that she became quite full and sleepy. As she fell asleep, the flower slowly closed its blue petals, protecting Betsy throughout the night. When Betsy awoke the next morning, the flower slowly opened its petals to the rays of the bright sun. Was this a place for a bee to be? Betsy loved her new home even more than her tree, because not only did she have shelter and security, but now she had an endless supply of pollen. Yes, this is a place for a bee to be. The end.